Hello students. In this video, we're going to create a Taylor series expansion for this function f of x, which is 3 natural log of 1 minus x at x not equals 0. We're going to do it over an interval um, from 0 to 3 fourths, but in this video, that interval will, will not have any relevance. It's in the second video where that interval will have relevance. So this is actually a two-part lesson, but in this video, we're just going to create the Taylor series approximation and then compute the radians of convergence. If you want to see um, how the error of this approximation comes into play, then you can look at the second video. Okay, first I want to point out that the Taylor series at x not equals zero is uh, often, often called a Maclaurin series or Maclaurin series. I'll just refer to it as a Taylor series expanded about x not equals zero, but they're really the same thing. Um, if it's uh, expanded upon any other point other than zero, we would just call it a Taylor series. So here is our definition for a Taylor series. So you see f of x naught and then all its derivatives and then the x minus x naught. And then if we let x naught equals zero, our Taylor series collapses to this here. So we need to compute this f of 0, f prime to 0, f double prime to 0, f triple prime to 0, and the fourth derivative at 0. So let's just go ahead and compute all those derivatives. So we have 3 natural log of 1 minus x. So we truck through and we compute those derivatives. I'm assuming you know how to compute derivatives of natural logs in this video. So notice that, uh, yes, we get 1 over 1 minus x, but chain rule, the derivative of 1 minus x is minus 1, so we get a minus there. Then you take the derivative of this. This is 1 minus x to the first power, so that, um, or 1 minus x to the negative 1 power, that comes up, makes that a positive. And then you add, uh, subtract 1 from the exponent, so you get a 1 minus x minus to the minus 2 power, but now that's 1 minus x squared. And then um, because this was plus, the chain rule um, applied to this is the derivative of this is minus 1, so we get a minus 1 on the top. Then we multiply this by a 2, and or a minus 2, that becomes a positive. But then the chain rule means that this becomes a negative. Now, notice that I'm loading up these multiplications. I'm not going to simplify this, because I'm going to look for a pattern so that I can write this summation. So I'm just going to leave all these computations at the end. And I'm just going to leave this 3 factored out. So now we're going to plug in 0. So just go ahead and plug 0 into all these derivatives and you get this result. Again, I'm not going to simplify. I'm just going to leave it as is. And then all of these derivative terms are divided by factorial. So this is um, divided by 0 factorial. The f prime is divided by 1 factorial. f double prime is divided by 2 factorial. f triple prime is divided by 3 factorial and so on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And when I write my factorials out, I'm just going to write them I'm going to expand them out so you can see the cancellation that's going to occur. Again, I'm doing this because I'm looking for a pattern. So I'll do the cancellations. The natural log of 1 is 0, so the first term is going to be 0 in our Taylor series expansion. And then notice that the 1 times the 1 cancels out with the 1, the 1 times 2 cancels out with the 1 times 2 in the numerator, 1 times 2 times 3 cancels out with the 1 times 2 times 3 in the numerator there. And so that means we have minus 3 times 1, minus 3 times 1 half, minus 3 times 1 third, minus 3 times 1 fourth. And so it seems that this denominator, the 4 here, matches up with the 4 for the derivative and the exponent. The 3 matches up with the triple primed, the 2 matches up with the double primed, the 1 matches up with the 1 primed. So that means that when I put this back into this series here, we have 0 plus minus 3 times 1 x plus minus 3 times 1 half x squared plus minus 3 times 1 third x cubed, plus minus 3 times 1 fourth x to the fourth. And I think you can see the pattern that is developing now. So if I factor out the minus 3, then it looks like the pattern is x plus 1 half x squared plus 1 third x cubed plus 1 fourth x to the fourth, or x to the k over k, and we're starting k at 1 and we're going off to infinity. So this is what our series looks like. Now we're going to determine what the radius of convergence is. So I'm going to compare, using a ratio test here, the n plus 1th term to the nth term. 
So um, that fraction arithmetic requires me to um, cancel out the minus threes. Absolute value works this way, right? N is a positive number, so it has no impact on N plus one or N. And then um, div dividing by a fraction means we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So we have absolute value of X to the N plus one over N plus one times N over absolute value of X to the N. So this absolute value of X cancels with this absolute value of X to the N and we're left with absolute value of x, and then we have n over n plus 1. That's some simple fraction arithmetic. Now, we want this ratio to be less than 1. We want to find values for x that will make this ratio less than 1 as n goes to infinity. Well, the limit as n goes to infinity of n over n plus 1, if you can use L'Hopital's rule or you can divide by the dominant terms, anyways, you're going to get that that's 1. So. To get the radius convergence, we have to have the absolute value of x is less than 1. You could check the endpoints, and if you do, you'll see that if you plug in 1, you get uh, 1 to the k, so you get 1 over k, which is a divergence series. But if you plug in minus 1, you get a, um, an alternating harmonic series, so that will converge. So your radius of convergence is 1, um, and I just wrote that as. Uh, R is less than 1 because uh, it has to fit inside this interval, but um, you actually could include minus 1 in this interval. Uh, it depends on what the question is asking for in your analysis. Okay, so that's how you compute a Taylor series for this natural log function and how you compute the radius of convergence. Good luck.